organic cleaning supplies. Do you need organic cleaning supplies? We're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by MyCleaningConnection.com and on MyCleaningConnection.com there is a list of books where you can make your own organic cleaning supplies. And it's my favorite list of books hand curated by me for you. So mycleaningconnection.com, sponsor of today's show. So thanks guys. All right, on to today's question, which is... Hi Angie, how you doing? Angie, I just um, download your book on Kindle and I would like to start my home cleaning business. I thought about it for a long time now. I would say a few years back. Uh, I am a certified caregiver, but I was thinking about also cleaning homes. Uh, Because I like cleaning cottages at my old job that I was at. Uh, I used to clean rooms. But I do have a question. Uh, My main question is about the supplies. Is it good to go ahead and also get organic supplies too, just in case if that household want natural cleaning? So that is my question because I was setting up my supplies to now to see the things that uh, the things that I need to get on my list. So if you could uh, let me know, email me back. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so that's an excellent question. Should we be using organic cleaning supplies and what are they? All right, there are three things that you need to know about organic cleaning supplies, and they are number one. Yes, organic cleaning supplies are incredibly important because of the era that we're living in. The very first thing you need to know is it's not special anymore. Everybody is doing it and everybody expects it. So when you pick up new cleaning accounts, you don't have to sell yourself on, oh, I do non toxic green cleaning organic cleaning supplies. That's a given. That's industry standard. Everybody expects it now. Okay. The second thing that you need to be aware of is the reason that you do it is because organic cleaning supplies that are eco-friendly, that are earth-friendly, that are easily recyclable and kind to the earth are kind to pets. They are safe for babies and they are safe for the house cleaner. And so if you are using non-toxic products, it is going to improve and increase the longevity of your lifespan and your lungs. Okay, so the third thing that you need to know about organic non-toxic cleaning supplies are that they are not for all use. There are houses that you're going to go into and the things that you're going to see inside that house are going to be years of buildup and neglect. You're not going to go in there with a little bit of baking soda and some vinegar and clean that up. You may need some strong products for the initial clean. So the non-toxic organic products that I'm talking about are not for the initial deep clean. When you go to an initial deep clean, you may have to pull something out of your little magic bucket that's going to get all that grime and mold and mildew away that is not your non-toxic green environmentally friendly products. The reason being is it did not get there naturally, okay? It's a buildup of soap scum and a whole bunch of debris and dirt and dust and grime and junk that has built up and you need to come in and scoop all of that away. Once that area is clean, you can maintain it with all of your organic products. So don't beat yourself up if you have to bring something ugly out of the bucket because it's not earth friendly. I have been known to use on many occasions non-earth friendly products and it's not for every cleaning. I might use it two or three times a year and not even in the same home. But there are products I rarely use. Like I'm not a fan of bleach at all. I mean at all. Rarely do I ever use it. But if I use it, it's a couple of times a year on a couple really big projects that are not going to come clean with a little bit of water and dish soap. So yes, yes, yes. Everybody needs to be using environmentally friendly organic products. And a lot of those are very inexpensive to create and produce and you can mix them in the privacy of your own home. So what I recommend is that you set up a little tiny station. And for me, it's just a little shelf. And I'll put a link to the shelf in the show notes so that you can see. But it's a little shelf. It's 24 inches wide, and it's about five feet tall. And so on that shelf, it has all my little cleaning mixtures. And at the end of every day, when I do my cleaning inventory, I just mix up the products for the next day. And I mix them up in a great big gallon jug so that I have plenty to go around, and I just refill my little spray bottles super easy and the mixtures are consistent every single time and that's the key if you're going to dilute concentrated products or if you're going to mix your own you have to follow the recipes you don't get to just guess and say well i'll just use about this much or i'll use about that much because then when you go to clean products you're going to have streaking 
and you're going to have grime and film left behind. So you must follow the recipes. And I'm very specific about that. If you follow the recipes, when you hire someone new and you train this someone new how to do it, that is duplicable. That person can also follow the recipe and get the same results. But if you're just mixing stuff randomly because you think you got it all figured out, they're going to do the same thing and then your results are going to go to pot. So environmentally friendly, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's so much kinder for the lungs. And as a house cleaner, if you're going to be in business for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Because if you show up every day and your eyes are bloodshot and your nose and your sinuses are clogged and your lungs are intoxicated with stuff that you've inhaled, you're not going to last very long in the business. And I've known house cleaners that have gone to the emergency room because they've inhaled chemicals that were not kind to their lungs. So if you're doing a deep initial clean and you have to bring out something really strong that has a strong scent like bleach, you may want to use a face mask and also put links in the show notes to the face masks so you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about a great big Center for Disease Control anthrax mask. I'm talking about a little face mask that just goes over that prevents that from getting inside your lungs. All right, so having said that, it's very easy to, like I say, mix your own products and to take stuff on your regular maintenance cleans that are going to be kind to the earth and environmentally friendly. So that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.